When I went up to Padua Hills, there were three of us, and he selected the middle one, which was me. Mrs. Garner, uh, she's the one that uh, built up the, uh, the uh, plays and whatnot at that time. It started building up more and more. So where it got to be uh, Padua Hills Theater of Claremont, that's when I started working there. Padua Hills has a phenomenal history on many levels. It's important within theater, researchers like myself that are specifically interested in it as a continuum of a long line of sustained Latino performance. Because that this particular period closes a gap for me in Latino history, performance history in the United States. The gardeners wanted was that throughout the year that we expose and educate the public about the different uh, cultures, dances, uh, ways of living uh, of Mexico to the audience. The only thing that I actually remember about it is, uh, you know, people around us and with cameras. I was only six years old at that time. We, we didn't do any acting or, you know, we were just being kids. Here's a picture of myself in uh, Los Tres Caballeros. We did, I did a picture with, uh, with my cousin. My cousin's right here. With Walt Disney, and uh, he says, you can have anything you want. I looked up and they had a picture of a, of a Sunday. And I said, yeah, I'll take one of those. And it was huge to me at that time. It was real huge, and it had this cherry up on top. And, 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 uh, we had a great time. 